Big Brother would like you to steal one item from each of your fellow housemates' belongings. It has to be a housemate's favorite item. For example, Tools' brown jersey. Hmm. <laughs> now. And finally, we've got our first secret task of the season. I mean, guys, finally. Because I have been waiting endlessly, impatiently at some point, you know, asking myself, when is Big Brother going to give one of the housemates a secret task? Because honestly, guys, if you have been following Big Brother Niger, then you will know that um, the secret task of different seasons, it's always been very, very exciting. Yes, because of that expression on the faces of the housemates when they eventually find out that oh my god this was all a prank all along from big brother guys it's always really exciting and it brings more fun to the show it brings more entertainment value to the show and so i had been praying for biggie to just do something different this week i mean we're already in week eight the house has been downsized you know via evictions down to the top eight and we do not know what's going to happen next. I mean, apart from watching Gash 1 and Tattoo all the damn time, doing the same thing over and over again, guys. I mean, to be very honest, the show was becoming boring. For me, oh, I was getting tired. It was becoming like the same old, same old thing. You know, wake up in the morning, it's Tattoo and Gash 1. I mean, they look good together, all the lovey-dovey things they do, but then it was becoming boring. And then, finally, <laughs> today, during the diary session of the housemates, Big Brother gave Libo that huge responsibility to carry out the secret task in the house. Now, in order not to raise any suspicion, Big Brother would like you to stage your own theft too, meaning you are also to take one of your favorite items and add it to the bag you see in the diary room. Before I go into the details of this task, let me first of all welcome all of you back to my YouTube channel. You welcome back. My name is Glory Elijah. This is Frankly Speaking with Glory. I am the girl with the T, all right? Now, the T of this video, of course, is all about the details of this new mysterious secret task that Biggie is actually giving, or should I say, instructed Libo to carry out. Now, this was how it started. The housemates were having their diary session. So when it got to Libo's turn, Libo had gone into that room looking all downcast. He was very, very sad. I mean, of course, we remember what happened to Libo last night whilst they were playing the ultimate veto power gameplay. Libo was the first housemate to make an attempt at that game and it was very very frustrating. I mean Libo had dug almost all the containers in that arena. There were 10 containers filled with sand. Libo had dug all of them without finding not in fact not even one marble. It was so frustrating. He had exhausted his two minutes without making any headway at all with any of the stages of the game. And so he was so frustrated. I mean, right before his eyes, he felt as though his chances of making it to top five was just fizzling into thin air like that. And to make the matters worse, Biggie had instructed all the housemates that they were not to discuss what they experienced in the arena with their fellow housemates. Not that night, not ever. So it was so frustrating. Imagine you, you just met the devil himself or itself and you cannot share your experience with anybody else. That was how bad it was. So it was, it was like a psychological challenge, a tra psychological trauma for these housemates. Besides that feeling of failure, you know, also the feeling of not being able to express your disappointment or even talk about, oh, what were the possibilities if I had done X, Y, Z to make the game easier for myself. And so in the diary room, he had spent time expressing his sadness and kind of indirectly campaigning for the reason why the audience should leave him in the house. I mean, guys, I saw all of that, but then, hey, let's just pretend like we don't know. Let's just pardon him because, of course, he was feeling very sad. And so to brighten up his mood, Biggie decided to, you know, bestow upon him that privilege to execute the secret task. Now, these are the details of the task itself. Do you see the bag? I see it right behind me. Very well. Here in the diary room, when you leave the diary room, Take this bag with you and use it to store all the items. So the instruction is quite lengthy, but let me just go ahead anyways and summarize it. Now, the details is, Libo was to steal. Yes, just like a temporary kind of stealing anyways, if you want to call it that. So Libo was to steal an item each from his fellow housemates. Now, it is not supposed to steal just any item. You're supposed to steal an item that actually means something 
to each of the housemates. Take for instance, for tools, there's this um, jersey that he wears, it's like a cardigan or something that he wears and he uses it especially most of the time when he wants to go into the arena to participate in any of the games or any of the tasks. So during Tools' um, diary session today, Biggie had asked him about it and he had said, oh, that it was hand-knitted by his grandmother from start to finish so it's sort of like his good luck charm you know whenever he wants to do anything in the house that's serious he gets to wear it and it kind of comfort him as well you know not to make him miss home too much or his loved ones so biggie used that as an example to libo that those are the kind of items he was to steal from his fellow housemates now biggie now told him further that listen to make it look more realistic he is also supposed to stage a theft a theft case of his own self uh, meaning that even though he is supposed to steal one item each from his fellow housemates he is also supposed to steal something from himself you know to make it look as though okay um it's not only you guys that are victims here i am also a victim now biggie said that he has 24 hours to accomplish that task if he is able to pull it off then there's a reward waiting for him at the end of the task. You are to do this without raising any suspicion from your fellow housemates and you are not allowed to tell any housemate. You have until tomorrow afternoon to carry out this task and if you carry out the secret task successfully, Big Brother will give you a reward for your efforts. You know one thing I love about Libo? I'm actually crazy about Libo's smile. Oh my god, he's got an amazing smile. Even the way he laughs, he has this devious way of laughing, like it's from innocent to very, very devilish. Honestly, the moment <laughs> Biggie said that, people just started laughing and it was so infectious. I was having a good laugh as well because trust Libo to pull out that task. I mean, Libo is that one person that I know is capable of pulling off that task, that prank on the rest of the housemates. But then the question is, will he be able to pull it off? And I ask this question because in as much as that mansion looks big, it is really exposed. There is no hiding place. Even the head of house lounge that we feel should be like a private space, guys, imagine that <laughs> you can actually see everything inside the head of house lounge via the transparent glass. So you can be downstairs and then when you look up, you can actually see a bit of at least 70 to 80 percent of what inside the head of house lounge looks like. You know, not to even talk about the summer day um, room upstairs where there's also a glass showing exactly what is going on inside the room. So I was just asking myself now, most of the housemates, they keep their luggages beside their bed. How is Libo exactly supposed to pull off this task without even raising suspicions? you know, from the rest of the housemates because he has already started. I mean, he has started gallivanting and I feel, I feel scared for him because in as much as I have this confidence that Libo might be able to pull off the task, his actions already this evening is looking very, very suspicious because already he's gallivanting, he's pacing. And we know what happens when people are pacing around us. It makes us suspicious. It makes us nervous that, okay, what is going on with this person? Is this person okay? And sometimes we as humans, it's just basic human instincts. We might be tempted to want to follow the person and check them out and ask them, oh, are you okay? What's going on with you? And interestingly already, Temba, who is a very, very sensitive person, has already noticed that Libo is very, very restless. So he had asked him, oh my friend, what is wrong with you? Are you sure you're okay? And then he has already started asking questions. And Libo is just saying that, oh well, I have a headache, I'm hungry, I want to eat. But then for someone that has a headache, he's not really playing the role properly. I mean, for someone that has a headache, you're supposed to sit down and chew for a bit, right? But then Libo, on the flip side, is just, is all over the place in the house. He's gallivanting and he has gone to the closer area. He's staring at some poor shoes. He's staring at um, Tato's things. He's just staring around like he looks completely confused. And guess what, guys? All of the items that he is to steal from his fellow housemates, he's supposed to put them in a bag that Biggie had actually given to him from the diary room. Now the bag looks similar to the ones that they have been using for their task all day. But then the question still remains, will Libo be able to pull off this task? If you think so, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. And then talking about secret tasks, I was just automatically reminded of um, one of those secret tasks that I watched 
during the last season of Big Brother Nigeria. I'm talking about the Shine Your Eyes season. I don't know how many of you remembered the secret task that, um, what's her name, Nini pulled off. Remember when Big Brother had given Saga a secret task to provoke Nini and kind of break up with her and not talk to her anymore? And Saga could not do it. He could not do it. He could not handle it. And then Biggie had actually further given another task to Nini to go MIA, to, to disappear from that house and the way it happened the housemates were really scared because they were wondering like could it be that there are some strange forces in biggie's house and then in the middle of the night you know nini disappeared then in the middle of the night again another day nini came back to the mansion but then Perry had actually caught her in the act as she was coming back into the house so it was quite exciting during the time of big brother ninja and to be quite frank with you i cannot wait to see the reaction of um these bibi and zamzi housemates yes i want to see their reactions i want to see how they're going to get upset hydrated you know going crazy losing their mind over their personal items that will be taken away by libo so as i asked before if you think libo can actually pull off the secret task 100 go ahead let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and i'll see you guys on another episode of frankly speaking with glory elijah have an amazing evening bye